everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly Disney haul. Now, I have to apologise that last month didn't get a Disney haul. So this is a June and July Disney haul. It does not mean that there is any less to show because I still bought a ridiculous amount in June and July. It just means that this video is going to be longer because it's two months worth of stuff. Plus, you did kind of still get a Disney haul last month. I went to Disneyland last month, uh, Disneyland Paris, and I did a Disneyland Paris merchandise haul. So that's technically a merchandise Disney haul, like it is. It's just all from Disneyland Paris. So I still did a video, but I'm sorry, I didn't also do my Disney monthly haul. I've just been really busy. We'll just get this done now. I can't wait any longer. This is gonna be June and July's monthly Disney haul. Now, make sure you're comfortable because there's a lot of stuff around me. So I know it's gonna be a long one. Grab yourself a good cup of tea like I have and get yourself comfy and let's do this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is these ears. I got these from Hannah Marie Magic. She is amazing. I was actually really lucky to meet her in Disneyland Paris as well. She happened to be there at the same time as me and I only bumped into a few people at Disneyland. Like I know there was a lot of people there while I was there but it's such a big place but thank goodness first day, first ride, I bumped into Hannah. So check Hannah out for these ears. She is so lovely. She's an absolute angel. She, like I talk to her quite a lot on Instagram. Like we are genuine friends. Like she, I don't just get my ears from her. We actually talk quite a lot. And she also sent me these ears, which you guys, my goodness, have gone crazy for. Um, I put these on my head in my Disneyland Paris merchandise haul. And Hannah has told me that she has had so many people asking for these ears. And I think she's currently ran out of the fabric, but she's trying to get some more fabric. So what she did was that she made these ones with like little antennae and they're on her store I'm pretty sure and she's trying to make some more of these ones But nevertheless her ears are like next level next level like if I want ears I have lots of ear ladies that are absolutely lovely who I talk to on Instagram Like I get a lot of ears from Luby and Lola as well But Hannah is just like I talk to her a lot. She's a friend I can't believe I managed to meet her and honestly these ears. I mean, I'm not just saying it because I'm a friend Look at these ears. Look at them. Like, oh my god. So I'll give you close-ups of these, but make sure you check out Hannah on Instagram and on Etsy, Hannah Marie Magic. So look at these ears. Oh, they're just so cute. I, I totally wish that I'd worn my Toy Story top um, on the second day on my trip and like did a Toy Story um, like Disney bound. I think I might do that on my next trip with these ears. I just love how they have a back to them, but it doesn't look like a back. It just It's just another front. It's just another way to wear them. And then she also made these ones as well, which are my aerial ones who, oh, annoyingly, I wore these the first day I was in the park and I met her in the second day. So yay, I didn't get to wear my aerial ears for meeting aerial, but still, they are fabulous. So make sure you check out Hannah because she's an absolute angel and the ear queen. Speaking of Hannah, Hannah also picked something up for me in a Primark store because they didn't have it in my Primark. I haven't managed to open it yet, but I know what it is and I thought I'd just kind of open it with you guys. So originally, me and Hannah asked each other to get each other this thing from Primark and she managed to find it first. Oh my god, I haven't opened this yet because I was going to open it on here and I even said to Hannah like do you want the money for this? Um, obviously because we'd asked each other to find it, I was going to send her the money for it. But it looks like she sent me something else in the package as well and I totally didn't realise. Hannah, oh my god I've spoke to you since, I'm so sorry. So this is what I asked to get me it is the alien toy story throw from primark it's only six pound and it's absolutely godly i have actually seen it in london primark since i've been to london but hannah literally got me this like two or three weeks ago and i just haven't opened it because i was waiting to open it with you guys even though it's just a fleece i knew if i opened it i would get it out and i just think they package so nicely so it's just basically the toy story aliens so i will open it up quickly and show you like the pattern i can't believe this is six pound i've been waiting for them to bring out some throws from primark that I really want and as soon as I seen this one on Instagram I was like I need it I need it so that is the pattern how cute is that I have seen oh my god these throws are so oh oh lord these are so soft oh it's so cute yeah so that was six pound from Primark and had a thank you for picking that up for me and did I even finish my story? Yeah, um, in the end I was gonna send her the money for it and she was like, oh no, it's okay. Like, I wanna send you it as a present just for supporting our business, which Hannah, you didn't have to do because obviously I'm gonna wear your ears. They're blooming amazing. But yeah, so she actually sent me this as a present. So thank you, Hannah. But it looks like she's actually sent me something else as well and I totally didn't realize. <gasps> and it feels like a pair of ears. Hannah, you did not. 
Sarah, thank you so much for everything. Hannah, I didn't realize you'd sent me ears. I thought you'd just sent me the blanket. I feel so bad that I haven't like said to you thank you. Oh, oh. more ears. It's a good thing I'm opening these now because I'm getting my ear display sorted out soon. So I need to make a space for these. <gasps> Look at all the tinsel coming out. Oh my God. Oh, oh so pretty. Oh my God, Hannah, you spoil. Okay, this is weird. You spoil me, Hannah. Oh, uh, it's all over the floor. Oh well, just have to be extra fabulous on the floor right now. <gasps> Hannah, she sent me some silver sparkly ones. Oh, these are perfect for Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary because the colors are silver and navy blue. I am taking these on my next trip. And the great thing about these is, is that the Hannah's, are, like, Hannah's are so comfortable. Like I have Disneyland Paris ones and whoo, the migraine, it's so bad. So Hannah's, like these look similar to a pair that Disneyland Paris have right now for their anniversary like pair. So these are more comfortable and probably more affordable than the Disneyland Paris ones. So yeah, look at that. Oh, Hannah, thank you. Oh my God, I feel so bad, Hannah, that I haven't. She even said to me as the package arrived and I was like, yeah, it's arrived, thank you. I didn't, I hadn't opened it. <laughs> I was just waiting to open it on this because I didn't want to take out the package. Oh, <gasps> look at those. Oh my God. In fact, ear switch up, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, we're switching ears, it's happening. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, they're pretty. Look. I love them. Oh, Hannah, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna have to message Hannah. Hannah, I feel so bad. I know Hannah watches my videos as well. Hannah, thank you, and I'm sorry. I just didn't realize you'd sent me ears. Oh my God, I love them. They're so comfortable. Oh, these are going on my next trip. Check out Hannah Marie Magic, and that blanket was from Primark, six pounds. I feel like I'm really hyper today. I'm sorry if I am. Just excited by all this merchandise that's around me. I have a problem. Okay, I feel like we should move straight on to Primark's Beauty and the Beast range because lordy lordy, have they had us in a fussle. What's a fussle when it's at home, Sarah? So this bag is full of the Beauty and the Beast stuff that I've managed to pick up since the whole thing went cray cray. Apart from the chip cup, I got that a while ago, he's there. And I feel like I got something else from the range as well. Oh, the chip purse is down there. Yeah, I think that. And then the rest I've gotten since my last haul, it's literally been the last two months where Primark's been like, oh, by the way, here's Beauty and the Beast. Like, wow, Primark. So they brought out quite a lot of purses and I have been so lucky I have managed to get all of them. So I'm gonna show you all of the purses now. Oh, I'll just quickly show you this one just cause it's in the bag. It is a um, mini like purse and it just, it has like this like tassel bit on. It was three pound, which is really inexpensive. It's not actually for me, it is for my giveaway. Oh my God, I totally forgot to mention the giveaway. I'm just so hyper today. There's gonna be a giveaway at the end of this video, guys. Keep watching for the giveaway. Or get it together, Sarah. Yeah, so that is for the giveaway. It is the navy and pink, with a bit of sparkle purse from Primark, which is three pound. Come on, Sarah, do close-ups, get with it. There we go. Can you see the sparkles? And then it's just plain on the back. Okay, the rest of the stuff in this bag is uh, Beauty and the Beast. So I'm just gonna pull them out. So the first one is Mrs. Wardrobe, I wanna say. Is that what she called? So we've got the Mrs. Wardrobe purse. She stands quite nicely. So I am going to, my Beauty and the Beast display is so full though. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna have to take them shoes out. But I don't really wanna do that because I kinda still want it to be like my shoe display. I already get, ugh, I already got rid of so many shoes to fit in the Disney stuff in this display, it's unreal. I say got rid of, I'll give them a cherry. But uh, yeah, so she stands quite nicely. So she is gonna go on the display. So she was four pound. I think she's not, she's really nice. I mean, realistically, they are just <laughs> making us go crazy because there is no way you can use that as a purse. Like you can, but she's so awkward and fiddly and you wouldn't be able to get stuff out. And she's quite, you know what I mean? So Primark is really just, oh, They've got us going crazy right now, they really do. And I love it. <laughs> so the next one is Lumiere. Um, I did not realize that he is literally just on a, like his head, the candle, hang on, I'll give you a close up and explain. Okay, so his head is like the purse bit. It's got like a little flame there and it zips around. Ooh! So I've kept like the tissue paper in cause like I say, I'm gonna display mine, I'm not using them. And then this is like on a ring and then he's just floppy. See that? I don't understand. So he was four pound as well. I'm not sure how I'm gonna display him. Maybe over the edge if he sits like that. I think that might be the best way. I don't know, but he was four pound. He's a bit awkward. I didn't realize somebody picked this up for me until I got him. But um, I mean, that wouldn't have stopped me getting him because I'm obsessed with Disney merchandise. But um, 
yeah, he's a bit awkward, isn't he? So the next one is Mrs. Potts. A lot of people don't like Mrs. Potts. They think she's a bit awkward shaped. I agree she is like awkward, but she really matches the purse, which is just there. So I'll get the purse, but I got the purse weeks ago. If you watch every month, then you'll know that. This is actually the first time I've had my two together, but yeah, they do go really well, even though she's pretty much the same size as them. But um, realistically, she'd be bigger, wouldn't she? So she was, I think she was more. Yeah, she was six pound. Um, I like her. She stands nice as well. Like these are all very easily displayable apart from Lumiere. So this is Mrs. Potts. She zips around as well. And then, yeah, she, you could, <laughs> the problem is, is like you'd have to have a big bag to comfortably have these in your bag as your purse. But she is very pretty. She is nice. So she was six pound. All the purses are four, but she's six. I mean, she does have a bit more about her, so I can understand that. But yeah, so she was six. So the next one is Cogsworth. I've heard a lot of people don't like Cogsworth as well. Um, apparently he's just, I don't know what it is actually that people don't like about him. I think he's all right. Um, yeah, he would display okay. So he's a bit fiddly too. He's probably the least fiddly actually. He is just like a round kind of purse with that bit on the front. So he was four. So that is Cogsworth. Uh, yeah, so he is probably the most usable as a purse, I'm thinking. Cogsworth. So I do have a spare Cogsworth and Mrs. Potts because these are for my giveaway. See <laughs> Sarah, remember that you're doing a giveaway at the end of the video. Okay, then I got a lot of little like bits and bobs. So these are all Beauty and the Beast. So this is a triple set of chokers. I do believe that these are from the kids section, but I bought the mini ones a couple of months ago and they fit me fine. So this was two pound for three, which I think is a really good price actually. So there's just a pink one with a little dot, a little dot, a little like diamond here. And it says beauty. And then there's this kind of tattoo one with chip on and then the black one, which has a rose on. So that was two pound for three and there was in the kids section and they do actually fit me. So next is this set of hair clips. I got the princess hair clips um, quite a few weeks ago now. I'm sure I'll have showed them in a haul. And then I've kind of lost quite a few of them and used one or the other. So when I seen these ones, I was like, actually they're really cute as well. I like the colors. So I got the Beauty and the Beast ones and there's Belle, Chip and Mrs. Potts. So you got two Mrs. Potts, two Chip and two Belle. And on my other ones, it was like one of each princess and there was like six of them. So it's kind of nice that they're matching sets. And that was two pound for the six. So the next thing is this key ring. It's metal and then it's got like shiny gold on it and it's actually really nice. It was two pound and I just think this is a really, really, like this is one of the things that Primark's brought out that's like very wearable for people that don't really like Disney or don't want to be in your face. Like this is really nice. So see that? It's like metal and then like the shiny gold and it is like, it's just so nice. It is just plain on the back, but it was only two pound. I mean, I think that's really nice. And I got another one of those for the giveaway. The next item is another key ring. Um, it's a big fluffy purple pom-pom key ring. And then it has a little Mrs. Potts and a little chip on it. And this was two pound as well. Oh, it's flying everywhere. So it's like a big fluffy key ring. And then it's got a Mrs. Potts like dangling off it and a chip. So that's really cute. And that was two pound. These are really inexpensive. These are great. And then the last thing I got was a bracelet. So it has a chip, Mrs. Potts and a bell on it and little pink knees. And it comes with a bag as well. So you could actually like give it to someone as a gift. I think that's really nice. And again, it was only two pounds. So there's chip, bell and Mrs. Potts and they've all kind of got like a little glitter overlay on them. And then the two pink beads and it's like a stretchy gold. Um, I will definitely be wearing this when I go to like Disneyland. Well, to be honest, just every day. And then it comes with a bag and that was two pound. Like the prices are just unreal. So that was everything in that bag, but not all of the Beauty and the Beast stuff. Oh, it goes on. Primark, you are killing us. So the next Beauty and the Beast item from Primark is this mirror. When I seen it, I was like, I have to have it. I know it's not the like mirror from Beauty and the Beast, like the gold one, which is really beautiful and wow, love it. But um, I decided that this one was just kind of a bit more fun. I mean, they didn't have the big extravagant one, but uh, yeah, I think it's nice. And then it comes with four little like lip balms as well, which to be honest, I haven't even really looked at. There's a Lumiere, a Belle, a Cogsworth, and then a Beast and Belle one. I literally got it for the mirror. So, but then again, it was it's quite a good price. So four little lip balms and the um, mirror, five pound. So it's kind of hard to show you because it's reflecting off my light but it's kind of like raised. Can you see that? Like it's not 2D, like it is raised. It's really nice. And then it's obviously a mirror on the other side, the handle, and then it's got the four 
little like chapsticks in there. I don't know if they like put colour on you. I'm glad it'll be very sheer if it does because this was in the kids section. So the next Beauty and the Beast thing is the Mrs. Potts Money Bank. Now if people are kind of like oh, I don't know when these are coming into the store and I don't have any of those. A couple of weeks ago on my weekly vlog I did quite a big at the end of one of the weekly vlogs where I took my time finding out the best I could release dates for things and then in that vlog I explained the release dates for different items. Some of them have already been because it was about two weeks ago that weekly vlog, possibly three, but make sure you check that out if you want to know when release dates are and stuff. I just did my research online and tried to find things. For instance, there's going to be a Mrs. Potts teapot as well. It's very similar, but it's a working teapot and the release date for that is on there and some bedding and stuff. So check out that if you are interested in when they are coming out in stores. But this Mrs. Potts muddy box, lordy, she sent people going crazy. I mean, I really wanted that because I have the matching cup. But now I know there's a Mrs. Potts teapot, which is pretty much exactly the same. I'm kind of thinking the teapot I'm probably going to get more use out of. Like, I would actually use her as a teapot. So I'll probably send it with both, but never mind. So a lovely girl on Instagram messaged me and said that she had a spare one and she would send me it and I'd send out the money. So I did and she sent me this and I'm very grateful. Even I, as much as I go into Primark, can't always get in when they release them. I think she was released on a Saturday morning. I don't go into town on a Saturday morning. Don't do, no, no. The queues, the crazy, the busy, not my thing. So when I seen that she'd been released on a Saturday morning, I was like, really? So, but somebody messaged me and said that they had a spare one. So she was eight pound. I can finally get her out of our box now and display her because when I buy things, I have to wait till I do a monthly haul. So some of these things have been sat for a while. So that's Mrs. Potts. She is very nicely done. She is lovely, isn't she? So the money comes out the bottom that just like comes off. Oh Lord, Lordy. I don't know if I'll be using her as a money box. I already have money boxes that I use to save. Um, I have one for Disneyland Paris and one for Disney World. And yeah, so I think I'll just be displaying her. I'm so running out of space for Beauty and the Beast things. Like, Beauty and the Beast has taken over. Beauty and the Beast, like, I love the live action. Like, it's fast becoming one of my favourite movies. But um, if you'd said to me, like, Beauty and the Beast is coming out, you were going to end up with so much merchandise, I would have been like, really? It's not my favourite, though. But it's just so accessible. So she kind of goes with this cup. But she might go better with the Mrs. Potts teapot when that comes out. Um, it might be a little bit bigger. I don't know, but I'm not going to be using that to drink out of, but the teapot I am thinking, if it's a good size, I will. That's assuming I can get the teapot, like, it's very hard to get these things. I've been very lucky, I think I have everything from the collection that I wanted. And saying that, I managed to get myself another cup. This is not for me, this is for the giveaway, so I'll have another cup for the giveaway. So there's some really nice things going in the giveaway actually, like really sought after things that people want. Like that makes me feel good that I'm gonna help people out who don't manage to get these things. Do not worry, enter my competition. You might be able to get these things. Right, I need to take a tea break. Whew. Two seconds. I was editing back my Disneyland Paris vlog this morning, um, part five, that'll be up in a few hours. So it's up by the time you guys see this. And um, I was editing back Illuminations. I was bawling like a baby. Oh my God, if you have not seen Illuminations, it is beautiful. It is just, did it, I wanna say I like it more than Dreams, but only if more of it was in English because um, Ariel's song, um, I've forgotten the name of it right now, but Ariel's, oh, Ariel's song, I wanna be where the people are. Um, that was in French. And that's a shame because if it was in English, I would have been like, oh, Lord, gone, absolutely gone. So I did like Illuminations, but I felt like there was more French in it. I'm totally going off topic here. Oh my God. Oh my God, tea is like beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, we'll carry on with the Primark. Oh yeah, there's more Primark. So this is the only Disney thing I picked up when I went to London last week for the, oh, that reminds me. I went down to London last week and I seen the Primark Home Christmas range that's coming for Christmas and that included Harry Potter and Disney so if you want to see all of that stuff before it hits stores I recorded everything so check out my last weekly vlog weekly vlog 25 when I went down to London and um, it's like quite close to the beginning just like skip to the Primark but if you don't want to watch my whole weekly vlog and there's some beautiful Disney stuff coming for Christmas the stockings oh my god the stockings Ooh, Matthew just came home from work I didn't even realize the time. That freaked me out. So this is the only thing that I managed to pick up in Primark when I went down to London. I do not know how you Londoners shop in Primark. Lordy, it was so busy. Everything was everywhere. It was a mess. It was unpleasant. 
like up here in the northeast we really do get the good deal when it comes to Primark and Newcastle because Newcastle Primark I've been told by the manager is ranked as high as London stores so it has the same like merchandise and products and amount of staff and things is London but there's a lot less people so especially if you go during the day during the week it's beautiful it's tidy everything's there I think that's why I always manage to get everything that I want like it's a nice store but down in London I went to Stratford I've been to Oxford Street as well oh my god it was just this was the only Disney thing I got when I went down to London it was horrible like it just was but never mind um, I got this so it's the Mickey Mouse and it's embroidered as well it's really nice so it's got three embroidered Mickeys on and then it's kind of got like this fleck kind of grey going through it. It's just plain on the back. I got it in a small, which was weird. It was small, medium and larges. It wasn't like sizes. Um, and that was £8, which I was expecting it to be six because the embroidered ones I've bought lately have been six. But maybe because it's three Mickeys instead of like one. So that was £8. So I bought these ones in the Newcastle store. This is the Mickey leggings. I posted a picture of this with the top I'm about to show you on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago and people went crazy and they were like where is it I haven't seen it which is really weird but there was loads of them in my Newcastle store so these are just leggings I love the Primark Mickey leggings like I wear my other ones to death I've actually lost them as well which is kind of annoying and then there's just a kind of like sweet like what is that velvety like a furry kind of M on there and then it goes all the way down and hang on I feel like I've shown you these no Oh no, I think I did a Primark haul in my bedroom, like a mini one during a weekly vlog and I think I showed you them then. But that's okay, I haven't showed you them in a Disney haul yet. So they just say Mickey on the side there and they have like the Mickey on them. Can you see that? Yeah. So it would go like, can you see that? So Mickey on them and then Mickey. And this is all like suede as well. Like, it's really nice. Well not suede, like velvety. I can't explain it, but it's really nice. And I believe these were eight pound. I've worn them quite a lot. And again, they were in like small, medium, and larges as well. So I got a small. And then this is the top that I wore them with in the Instagram photo and what I've been wearing them with because they match. So this is the same kind of suede Mickey. And then it's got the same like Mickey pattern on there, like of his face. And it's cropped. And I think I sized up in this one because this was small, medium, and larges as well. Yeah, so I got a medium in this because I just think it looks really nice oversized. And it is just like plain on the back with like the hood. And then it's got like the long sleeves and they've got like the elastic edges and then yeah Mickey and they go so nice together Um, yeah I just really love them because this is cropped and then you wear the leggings really high and it's quite flattering and really comfortable as well so I really enjoy those this was 10 which is slightly pricey considering it's quite plain and it's cropped but it is really like good material like I feel like this will be really nice to wear in the autumn I feel like my camera is finding it hard to pick up all of this white that's going on and the silver, I take them off. It's really struggling to pick me up. Maybe I shouldn't have worn white. Oh, now my battery's dying. Lord. Right, I'm just gonna change my battery, guys. Right, battery's changed. Sorry if the angle's changed. It has, hasn't it? There we go, is that better? Okay, sorry if the angle's changed, I had to change my battery. Don't worry, I have so many batteries so that we can just do this Disney haul, I was prepared. Okay, so I have four sets of pyjamas from Primark. So the first one is this kind of orangey, kind of like, I wanna say French, which would make sense because Beauty and the Beast is set in France. Um, it's just very, it's so pretty, isn't it, and floaty. So it's like a very nice kind of peachy, pinky orange. And then it's got like Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, Chip, roses, feathers, and they're all like grayscale and pink. And then it's just like, that on the back they are kind of high-waisted kind of and um, that doesn't actually do anything when you tie it it's just for decoration and um, I sized up because I always like my pajamas bigger but I didn't want to size up too much because with them being shorts I didn't want them to like just be ridiculously loose on the leg and not look nice that's the bottoms and then it was a set that came with like a top as well so you can see that that is quite baggy is it I don't know but that's the top and it's got like a gold kind of like a rose gold on there that says bonjour it's just such a nice pattern and that's actually cropped so the trout the shorts are high waisted and the top is cropped so it's not for everyone but it is very pretty like it's very nice on so it's very floaty it's very nice I believe this was six because most of the sets are four and um, but obviously this has that little bit more frill so this was six so speaking of the sets that are actually four, this is one of them. This is the Marie set, pretty much exactly the same as those ones, but without the frill on the edges. So they're quite high waisted. Um, again, the tying does nothing. And I got these, 
Oh, I went even bigger in these ones. I got these in a 14 to 16. Um, I think with those ones being quite frilly, when they went too big for me, it was like too silly. It just didn't look nice. But these ones I managed to size up twice and yeah, I don't think they look ridiculously massive on me. If you check out my Disneyland Paris lookbook, I'll have them on in that video. And I don't think they actually look that big, which is pretty crazy. So yeah, they have Marie all over them and they are just white. So these come as a set and you don't buy them separately. So this is the vest top wise inside out. See, that does look a bit bigger. See, with this being like elasticated, I feel like it's meant to like stretch on you, but I don't like it to stretch. I, I like it to be baggy. So that is the vest top. It's just the same pattern with the pink outline. And yeah, this is not cropped. Um, it's like full length down to like the hips. Um, yeah, so that was four pound for that set. So this next set is probably the one that I have had the most questions on. I wore this Toy Story set. Um, well, I wore this. To I wore the Toy Story top for my Disneyland Paris merchandise haul, and so many people messaged me or commented saying, "Where did you get it?" It's from Primark. Um, I guess it was one of those ones that either they didn't release a lot of or it sold out very quickly. I haven't actually seen anybody else wearing it, but I've seen it on Instagram and I was like, I need that. Like it was one of the ones I went to town just to get. I'm so happy they had it. So I sized up because I'm gonna wear this. Um, actually, I didn't size up that much. Oh, I didn't even size up. I got a six to eight. Wow, that's really big fitting for a six to eight. Look at that. That's a 68. Oh well. So I obviously didn't size up because it looked big and when I'm wearing it it feels quite biggy, like baggy big. So that's in a 68. It's really nice. It's got like Jessie on, Buzz, um, Woody, Ham, Springy and Rex. Um, is it Springy? Spring? Springy? Yeah. Um, but And it's got like the roll up sleeves. So that I believe was £8 and I'm actually going to wear that as a t-shirt. Um, I'll probably wear it with the shorts as well sometimes for bed. But I am going to wear that as a t-shirt. That's the top I want to wear with my Buzz Lightyear ears. Um, when I go Disney bounding in Disney Studios maybe one time next time I go to Disneyland Paris. But how nice is that? And then these are the matching shorts. So again, oh no, these ones do actually tighten it if you pull them. So they're elasticated. Um, and you can tighten them and then it's got little glittery, glittery silver buttons on and then just the same pattern and I'm pretty sure I'll have sized up in these yeah I sized up in these I got a large so 14 to 16 um, my sizes are so weird I got a small on the top and a large on the bottoms but well, never mind you know whatever's comfortable whatever you like so these were six I want to say and yeah I also wore these in my Disneyland Paris lookbook as well if you want to see what they look like on and the last set of pajamas these ones were eight for the bottoms so that's Mrs Potts and Chip all over them they are very pretty the one thing I don't like about them is that they just they just kind of go down like they have no cuff or anything they're just kind of they're almost like leggings I don't know it, the, the other thing as well about these is that one leg on my trousers is very tight and the other leg is really baggy and it's very obvious when I've got them on as well and it's really annoying because you can like feel it but I think that was just my pair and I really didn't want to take them back like I had them on I was wearing them I was like never mind so I sized up once and got a 10 to 12 in these um this does actually nope that's just for display doesn't tighten them and it's got the blue buttons so these bottoms were eight pound. And then the matching top, doo -doo -doo, I've probably sized up in this. So I've got a large in this, 14 to 16. Um, it's ever so slightly cropped, but not as much as um, a cropped top would be. It kind of sits just above the hips. And it says, I only wake for tea, which I thought was very fitting for me. It is just plain on the back. And then it has that ruffle on the bottom. And that was eight pound as well, I wanna say. Like that was a 16 pound set, this one. Probably one of the most expensive ones. But I liked the saying on the top and I really liked the pattern on the trousers. So yeah, they were all from Primark. But we're not done with Primark yet. Whew, we've still got a few more Primark pieces. All this like, Beauty and the Beast excitement. Like when the Ariel movie comes out, what year is the Ariel movie coming out? They're doing a Little Mermaid movie. When that comes out, the merchandise, oh my lord. If Primark go ham on the merchandise for the Little Mermaid, like they have for Beauty and the Beast, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So the next item is this um, bag. Although, to be honest, you can't really use it as a bag. It's very limited, like it doesn't even fit my phone in. My phone is quite big, to be fair. So that is literally the compartment. It's not very big, it's flat, it's completely flat. You can't get much in there. Um, so he is sparkly though, he's very pretty. Um, pink and 
that kind of goes across the body enough for it to be like just below the hip like it was five pound but somebody picked me up this and um, again i put it on my instagram story you guys are great i put it on my story i was like i need it and then somebody managed to get me it so that was five pound and then i think i just paid delivery as well so that was out a few weeks ago now then again all of this stuff is kind of just if you can get it so he also had a matching purse which was exactly the same but about this big and i just i didn't like him as much i knew that i wouldn't be able to use him for anything and i already have the other chip purse so i didn't get him um because to be honest i didn't realize how unusable this guy was um i don't know maybe i'll get to use him for something i had intended on using him at disneyland paris and i did take him but he's just not big enough so he's probably just going to be for display but he is really nice so another primark item is this backpack um it's just black like fake leather and then it's got the ears there are loads of these types of bags going around at the minute they also have a silver one out now which i kind of prefer to be honest so i think i'm going to be taking this one back it was one of those things where it was like i need it and you see everybody else wearing it and it's like i need it but i don't really wear black that much anymore like i don't know he's not really my thing if he was bright pink maybe and i'm tempted by the glittery one i think i'm going to swap him for the glittery one but i thought i'd show you him anyway so he has like a pocket at the front there and then it's quite a big bag actually like that's quite big and then he's got this key ring here with like mickey's pants and the thumb and then it just has like the straps on the back that's the key ring yeah so he was nine pound uh yeah nine pound but i'll be honest i think i'm gonna swap them okay so the last thing from primark is these socks and um, they are like cheshire cat uh, socks and they have like the like the rubbery bits on the floor so they're like slipper socks on the floor on the bottom so they're like slipper socks so you can walk around in them they're like grippy um they were in the sale for about 50p and one of the pom-poms came off as soon as i put them on and also this bit oh my god i, I wore them for bed just because i was a bit cold that night and i'd had them on during the day i woke up and round like my foot was Honestly, it was probably this close to bleeding. They were so unbelievably tight. Like I've tried to stretch them and it's just not happening. So I can see why they were in the sale for 50p. So that's the Cheshire Cat on there. That was the Pom Pom. That one's come off. And honestly, this bit, oh my Lord, no. Like, ugh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get to wear them again. I'll try one more time, but if they hurt like they did, no. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is everything from Primark. So normally I like to have like one mystery like Zoom or like packet thing. Um, I have four. That's what happens when you don't do a haul for two months. It gathers up. I have four. Oh no, I tell a lie. This one is from Primark. So you might notice at the tails that Primark has their own little like mystery things. I think it says fun and fruity action roller. And there was a Cinderella, a Satan Beauty, I want to say a Belle and a Rapunzel. Um, so I don't actually think it's like a little figure. I think it's food which is weird fruit snack ingredients yeah apple juice strawberry juice lemon juice apple juice contains naturally occurring sugars Ew. so these are actually suitable for vegetarians and vegans so i'm gonna open this now i'll show you what it looks like so these are literally at the tills in primark i can't remember how much it was maybe two maybe once oh i don't want it two three a couple of quid not very much um so i got the rapunzel one i have no idea what's in here i haven't heard anyone else talking about these either if it's just fruit inside then that's kind of annoying because it's like well what was the point in putting a different princess on the front but let's see what's inside oh here we go okay so i've took the wrapper off and the lid comes off like a little pink lid ah oh, okay so there's like a little fruity bag and i guess that's like the fruity gummy thing and then there's a Rapunzel bouncy ball. Oh, I'm so glad I got the Rapunzel one because I need more Rapunzel stuff. And then stickers. Ooh, this is actually quite cool. So I got this little fruity thing. Fun and fruity. And I've read the ingredients and it doesn't seem like there's any crap in there. So let's give it a try. Little gummy, like stars. They remind me of something, I don't know what, but they taste so good. Mmm. Okay, so we're gonna get five. But they're really good. So I got this little Rapunzel bouncy ball. How cool is that? I think I'm gonna have to get all of these. Ooh. Okay, so I got a sheet of stickers. There's four. So there's a Jasmine sticker, a Belle sticker, an Aurora sticker, and a Rapunzel sticker. Oh, okay. So 
this tells you how many there are and like that sort of thing so oh so there's a mulan ball and that's the picture on it a bell a sleeping beauty a rapunzel an ariel and a cinderella and that's what the boxes like the little canisters come that they look like that what they come in like what they look like i recommend them okay so the next one is very different i've never seen these anywhere before this was in pound world and there was loads of them so and there was different ones this is a mini mystery egg and the six to collect and it says character keychain so i thought we'd give it a try you can't actually see inside and i'm pretty sure i've got mini um yeah that's mini i'm pretty sure i was looking and i was like that's mickey that's mini so it's a mystery egg it was a pound in pound world so if you want to do mystery things really inexpensively pound world do disney keychains like mystery ones so let's pop it open. I'll show you what it looks like first. So that's what it looks like. And that was in Pound World. Yep, yeah, it's mini. Oh wow, it's actually more of a substantial key ring than I thought. Oh, and then, yeah, okay. Ooh, I've just ripped it, crap. Okay, so I've got mini holding an ice lolly in a blue dress and it's actually really cute. There we go, that's her there. Mini in our blue dress with our little heels and an ice lolly really cute and it is a key ring and that was pound in pound world and these are the ones you can collect so there's mickey mickey daisy and three minis how cool a pound in pound world okay so the next two are the um squishy ones that i have a bell one of there i have a rapunzel one that i showed you last time and i actually have an aurora one who i'll show you in a second because i opened her like the day after I recorded the last haul. Matthew got me her as like a present and I just opened her. But I have another two to open now. So you can get six in this. There's Rapunzel who I've got, Aurora who I've got, um, Belle who I've got, and then the Cinderella, Ariel and Snow White. So I'm hoping these two are two of those and that I don't have duplicates. So we'll get these open. These were in Asda, they were on offer for like 170. I'm nervous. I don't want to get a double. What do I even do if I get a double? Oh no, it's another bell. Oh. Okay. It's another, wow, her makeup. She's been on a bad night out. My bell looks really pretty, but this bell's a little bit messed up. Look at that makeup. Like what's this eye doing and why is our lipstick smudged? But yeah, I got another bell. So if it's okay with you guys, I'm gonna put her back in here. Doo -doo -doo. And she's gonna go in my giveaway. So I'm sorry if you get it and it's already open, but you know why. <laughs> okay, so we'll open this one. It better not be another bell. Oh, come on. Out of the six, I have three. So I just want one of the other three. Okay. Ooh, I'm nervous. Are you kidding us? It's another bell. What? No wonder they were on offer. Ugh. It's another bell. Her makeup's a bit nicer. She also th feels really thick. Like I remember my bell had a really wobbly head. There we go. Another bell. So she's going in my giveaway as well. I apologize that she's already open, but I don't need three bells in my life. I can't believe that. Like I've got three out of the six and what are the chances that I'd get one that I've already got and then that one again? You just can't win some. All right, moving on from the mysteries. We've still got so much stuff. Like, let's have another cup of tea, shall we? Okay, so we'll move on to Disney store things now. Okay, so the first cup, I've got four cups to show you from Disney store is this one. I feel like I definitely haven't showed you this one, but basically I got this one. Um, I also have the Cinderella one. I got this one just before I went to Disneyland um, and when I got her, all of them were on offer and all of them were there and they'd gone down to like 5.49 or something and I was like, I want to get all of them just because they've gone down to a fiver and I already have Cinderella and I wanted Ariel so I just need to get Rapunzel and um, Rapunzel and Snow White. I actually decided in the end that I liked the Snow White one which is weird because I didn't when I first seen it. The Tiana one has never been in any of the stores I've been in. So I got the Ariel one and it was the day before Disneyland or a few days before. So I was like, I'll get the other two when I come back from Disneyland. And of course I came back from Disneyland a few days after Disneyland, went to Disney store and they were all gone apart from the Cinderella one, which I already have. So I only ended up with Ariel and Cinderella from this collection, but I'm not too bothered I suppose. Cause it just means 
I get to spend money on the new collection. So this is the Ariel from the last collection. You might still be able to get them in stores, but they have gone on the sale a couple of weeks ago now. So that's Ariel. I think these cups are really pretty. They're just, this is the, the shape cup that I love. I just think it's so pretty. So we've got all of Ariel and Ariel, and it's like a nice green inside. So that was like 5 49 in the sale, and then I got my Disney Life discount. So yeah, they might still be in stores, but they've kind of gone in the sale now. So the next cup is another sale cup. This is the Hank cup when you put in the hot water and Hank disappears. Um, I actually wanted him when this first came out, when Finding Dory came out. But it was about £12 and I don't, I didn't want it that bad. Like £12 is kind of getting expensive for Disney cups, I think. Um, even though there's cups in Disney store at the minute that are 16 and stuff. But I don't know, just for the size, and I wasn't that fussed on it. Like, I wanted it, but if it was like £8, maybe. But anyway, it disappeared. Obviously, sold out sort of thing. And then it was in the sale, and there was loads of them in my Newcastle store the other day. And I was like, that's weird, because that came out ages ago. So, yeah, and it works as well. Like, he disappears when I put hot water in. And I think he was like £6 something, and I got my discount, like Disney Life discount. So yeah, I'm chuffed I got that because I wanted it weeks ago. I think I've seen it before I've seen the movie and I was like, hmm. Then after I've seen the movie, I absolutely adore Hank. I have like a giant Hank poster at the top of my stairs. And uh, yeah, just uh, went back to get him after seeing the movie and he was gone. This cup was gone. So, and it's just blue inside. So he disappears, but nothing else does. Funny fact for you, he's a septopus because the Pixar computer could not handle Hank. Um, when he had eight tentacles, the Pixar computer, the amount of money that's in Pixar and technology couldn't handle it. It was messing up, so they had to take out a tentacle to help the Pixar like technology like be able to handle them better. So that is why Hank is a septopus. So the next mug is my first cup from the new collection. I actually went in to get Jasmine, but because I adore Ariel, I seen Ariel and I was like, I need Ariel. So I think the next one I get will be Jasmine, and then there's a Belle one, and there's also a Rapunzel one. So I might end up with the whole collection. I'm not like massively in love with these cups. What it is is that the artwork is beautiful, but I feel like they're a little bit dull. And also the shape is not the prettiest and it's actually quite awkward to drink out of. So these were eight, which I do think is good for the price because they are hefty. Um, but yeah, I got Ariel first and I'll probably end up with like Jasmine because I don't really have a Jasmine cup. And the Belle one is pretty. I don't know, I might end up with all of them, you know what I'm like, but I got Ariel to start with. So this is the Ariel one, and it just says heart as big as the ocean, and then on the back it says Ariel, and it's got Ariel and Flounder on there, and there's nothing on the side. Um, so yeah, this was eight, and it is quite a big cup. I just feel like it's a bit awkward to drink out of the shape. And the last cup I got was this Baymax one. It is huge! Like, I wanted it when I seen it on Instagram. And I was like, it just, even though it's a plain cup, it's really nice. It's like a matte kind of, I don't even know. Um, but I seen it on Instagram and I was like, I need it. And then when I went in and I seen how big it was and like the kind of like finish on it, it's gorgeous. It is, it's beautiful. It was £12, so it's a little bit more expensive, possibly £12.99, um, but I had to have it. I love it. So that's Baymax on the front there. On the back there is like a plaster from where like he pierces his arm when he's running around. And then inside you can see like, not happy getting a little bit happier okay happy extremely happy so like the more tea you drink the better you get which is cool because he is like a health robot like thing isn't he so it makes sense and it's just really cute i love it so much even when i make a normal size cup of tea putting it in this makes it seem so much bigger and it takes so much longer to drink like it's a massive cup so the next thing from disney store is a kylo ren doll who is actually up there oh you can't really see the top of his head i'll get him down but lordy is he annoying to stand up like, he's not meant for display, he's meant for playing. And uh, I display in my Star Wars section, you might notice that the Mickey lamp that was there, so the same as that mini lamp, but Mickey, um, is gone because Kylo Ren stands there now, it just looks better in that Toy Story section. And the lamp's now in our bedroom, like my boyfriend's side light now, so that's where Kylo Ren is, so I'll get him down. But I wanted him when he was full price, and then he went down to nine, and I was like, I need him. And uh, I don't know why I didn't get him, but it's a good thing I didn't because then he went down to five and then with my discount he went down to 450. 450 for a good size Kylo Ren doll. And he came with loads of extras as well. Um, he was so hard to get out the box though, but I will get him down and show you him. So this is Kylo Ren. He looks really good I think. Does this come off? No. 
Um, so you can change his hands and you can take his sword off and his sword, oh lord, his saber. And um, yeah, take take his lightsaber off and uh, he's got boots. He, so he's pretty cool. Um, I actually just met Kylo Ren at Comic Con at the weekend, made my dreams come true. Although I went over to say hi to him and then Darth Vader grabbed me. That was nice. Um, so yeah, he was £4.50 and I think he's actually really cool. Okay, he isn't back in the position that he would be in if I was standing him up properly, but it takes ages to stand him up and I want to get over the hall, so if he looks conky, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's everything from Disney Store this month. So the next things are from the lovely Danielle Nicole. So if you don't know who Danielle Nicole is, then lordy, where have you been? But Danielle Nicole is a designer and um, she does handbags, but she also does jewellery and she did a collaboration with Disney and brought out the most beautiful handbags in the world. So she brought out like an Ariel, a Snow White, a Cinderella, Flounder, Sebastian, Beast, uh, oh my lord, like you name it, she did it. Her bags are amazing. She now sells them in the UK as well on QVC, um, which is really handy for us people in the UK. Um, I haven't managed to get one yet, but um, Danielle actually sent me these patches. So she also does like little patches. Um, I'm not sure how they work because they're called stickers on the website so we're gonna get them out and have a look but she like wrote me a little note and she was like thank you so much uh danielle xo and i was like oh thank you danielle so i didn't know i was getting these she just sent me them and she sent me the mirror mirror on the wall and the cinderella slipper one so these are really pretty and they are like official disney so we'll get out the um mirror mirror one and have a look if if you like stick it on or if it's like a patch and you sew it on because i'm not sure so these are all on her website um and they're on qv i think they're on qvc actually i'm not sure but they're on her website so check them out so that's the cinderella slipper there which is very sparkly and pretty and then that's the mirror mirror on the wall one so we're gonna get this out and um have a look at how it works okay it has a back on it so you peel that off and it's a sticker. So that's an embroidery sticker. But I think what I'll do, because I would worry if I stuck that on, that it was gonna come off. If you're just gonna stick it on something that it's not gonna go out the house or whatever, then great. But I'm gonna sew this onto a jacket, I think, a denim jacket. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna sew that on because you can still sew it on even with a sticky back, just leave the cover on. Or you could stick it as well and then like stitch it on. So that's what I'm gonna do. But just for your information, they are stickers, but they're also embroidery patches. So I'm going to sew mine onto things. But thank you so much, Danielle. Like, you did not have to do that. And, like, the fact that she sent me something, I was like, what? So how crazy is that? Thank you so much, Danielle. Like, I feel really, like, privileged. Like, why me? So those are from Danielle Nicole. So the next thing is from Clinton's Retail. Um, it is the Water Globe. This was advertised on their Clinton's Instagram possibly before the movie even came out. It was advertised a long time ago. And when I seen it, I knew I wanted it. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was this big. I thought it was like a little paperweight. So I was like, oh lordy, when I actually got it, I was like, that's big. Um, how much was it? So it was 15 pound, which is quite good really for a snow globe from Disneyland. Um, from Disneyland, like for a Disney snow globe. It's a good price and it's a good size for the price. So it is the Enchanted Rose and it's like glittery. Um, so I'll show you it. It's already on my display. Oh, there. So that is it. It says the one who will break the spell. Um, and then on the other side, it says Beauty and the Beast, Disney. So it is very, very nice. It is a really good size. I mean, look at that, like, it's a good size. So it has the rose in there with gold and red and then the glitter is gold and red. How pretty is that? It is really nice for £15. I know I already have an enchanted rose, like the one I made, but this is a snow globe and it's a little bit smaller than the one I made, which you can probably see there. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I love it. £15, when I seen it, I was like, I need it. It didn't come out for months after they advertised it, so I kind of forgot about it. Then when I found out they were selling it, I was like, yep, me. So I'm pretty sure that's still available in Clinton's. Um, it did sell out at first and then it was available again, so I'm pretty sure that's still available in Clinton's. I forgot to show you Aurora, hang on. So out of those jelly mystery things that I was opening before, this is Aurora. She's not very Aurora, I don't think. Like, she doesn't scream Aurora. Like, she doesn't have a crown on. She's literally just got long blonde hair and a pink dress. Like, if 
you didn't tell me that was Aurora, I would just think she was a random little princess jelly thing. Okay, this is a really long haul. Like, I've recorded this in like four segments or something. We've still got some more stuff. I told you it was a two month one. So the amazing Joe from Magical Dreams Inc. who painted my Ariel shoes and my Mulan and Rapunzel shoes sent me some more shoes. I was like, what are you doing, Joe? I didn't even know she was sending me them. So I haven't opened them. I've seen a picture of them but I haven't opened them because I wanted to open them with you guys. So let's get these open. Oh, she sent me extras as well. Joe, you didn't have to do that. But Sarah, I know you were thinking about going to Disney and Halloween. Yes, I am. And I hope I can go. I would love to go for Halloween. I've done you some Evil Queen, Minnie and Vampire Mickey shows for that occasion. There's also another little surprise in there for you. Congratulations on graduating. I graduated. <laughs> Lovely, and I hope you like your surprises. Love, Joe. Oh, thank you, Joe. Joe, you proper spoil me. So we'll open the shoes first, and then we'll open the surprises. So this is the shoes. Oh my god, this is so Halloween. I'm so excited for Halloween, by the way. I'm already planning my Alton Towers trip. I go to Alton Towers every year for Scarefest. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to show you these. These are really cool. So these are like Halloween Mickey and Minnie shoes. How cool are they? Oh, so it's like Evil Queen Minnie. Wow. That is, how did you paint that? It's just got a little pumpkin. And then there's Mickey. Oh my God, Joe. These are amazing. These are amazing. When is Halloween? I need it now. <laughs> okay, so she also sent me some little surprises as well. Oh, she sent me Mickey and Minnie little Tsum Tsums. Oh, these are the cutest. I don't actually have a Mickey or a Minnie. Oh, yes. So she sent me Mickey and Minnie Tsums. How cute are they? Thank you, Joe. I don't know where she got these, but how cute are they? I'm gonna have to put them on my display after the video because it will fall down. Like, it's getting to the point where it's gonna fall down. So I'll just put them next to them for now and I'll have to rearrange that. And then what's this? Oh. It's a pair of ears. Oh Lord. Oh my God, these are... Wow, Joe, did you make these? Oh my God, these are the cutest little things ever. The Snow White, like the, the Seven Dwarfs with like gems and oh my god, they're right up my street, I love them. So she sent me these. They're like the Seven Dwarfs and they've got like the little squishy Mickey in the middle and they're like pastel and then they've got all these gems on. And the back's got gems on too. And then it's pink and blue. Jo, did you make these? Because these are really, like I don't have any, like I don't have ears like this. I don't have any Snow White ones. So ear change again. We're going to have to put them on. Oh, look, Jo. I don't know if Jo made these or where she got them. But I'll put it on the screen. Oh, thank you so much, Jo. Like, I've been spoiled today. I got an extra pair of ears from Hannah and then I got stuff for like another pair of ears from, oh, I'm gonna have to get all my ears hung up. I've got five of them hung up at the minute and I was just about to hang up some more and now I'm gonna have to rethink it because I've got even more. Okay, so we're on to the last two items now, but they're up there, so I'm gonna have to get them. Two seconds. So the last two items are these. They're probably a little bit hard to see in the lights, but they are the Kellogg's multi-grain rice crispy shapes cereal boxes so kellogg's released four of these i'm very aware that they're shining can you say that then um, yeah so kellogg's released four of these a rapunzel an ariel and they also released a jasmine and a bell so i do plan on getting both of uh, both of them i do plan on getting all of them um so i still need to get the jasmine and the bell one bell probably go the quickest because everybody loves bell um at the minute like with the movie out so i probably should have got bell because last time my boyfriend went in there was no bells so i should have got bell but then again i'm not too fussed about getting the bell one like i'd like the collection but i want the jasmine one next so these are two pound in asda um i don't know how long they're out for but i've managed to pick up these two in the last few weeks and every time i go i'm just going to get the next one so hopefully i'll be able to get jasmine and then bell if there's any left and that was everything in my disney haul so i think it was quite a big one this month i feel like i've well these last two months so again sorry i didn't record like last month but if you want a disney haul from last month and you haven't already check out the disneyland paris merchandise haul but this was still just two months worth like i didn't not buy anything for a month it's just all in one video so i hope that's okay so on to the giveaway so the question this month is going to be a little bit different so basically i thought it would go a little bit crazy the question is this is what you have to answer in the comments below the competition will also be running on my instagram so you have to answer this question now this is a little bit weird if you could have any ride at a disney park like create a ride or like an attraction or a meet and greet or, so, or like a character that you could meet what would you do 
So what ride would you build? And try and make it realistic so that it could actually happen. Like a Star Wars ride, like the Buzz Lightyear ride, but you ride around in Jabba the Hutt coasters. Is that weird? I'm just trying to give you examples. Either like a ride or a meet and greet. So what character do you want to meet that you can't meet? I personally would love to meet um, Meg and Hercules, which I know they're out on parades, but you can't really meet them. So yeah, what would you like to come to Disneyland as like a ride or an attraction or a meet and greet? Get creative, see what we can come up with, put it in the comments below. It doesn't have to be a massive paragraph. You could just put, I would like to meet Hercules. He's not in the parks. That's what I would like to happen sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, answer that question, subscribe to my YouTube channel and that is it. Now the best answer will win first prize and then the second best answer will win second prize. But just because your answer is amazing doesn't mean you win, you have to subscribe. So follow the rules. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you're not on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram and then comment in the picture on Instagram or comment below with your answer and then I will check. So even if your answer is amazing, if you don't follow the rules, you can't win. So I will pick the best answer and the second best answer too. So I'm just gonna do two prizes this time so that you win more. Why not? More goodies, yay, everybody loves more. So I will now skip to a clip where you see all the stuff that you can win if you enter this competition. So we're in the other room and I'm gonna show you the prizes. So this little bundle here is first prize and this little bundle here is second prize. So they are quite similar, you get the same things apart from the stuff in first prize comes to a little bit more money and is slightly more sought after products in my eyes. Like I think a lot more people would want the chip cup than the mug cup, never the mug cup, oh lord, the Bambi cup, but obviously the Bambi cup is still amazing and I still think it's a really nice second prize. So in first prize you get the Jasmine tote bag, it's like the reusable one, the plasticky one. You get a princess calendar which I know it's nearly the end of the year but I've still got one left so I feel like I may as well give it away and you could always cut out the images and use them for other things so you get this calendar. You can get the more 2017 annual chip cup obviously we all know what that is mrs potts purse a jasmine and bell sponge a bell purse a mini set of chokers the chip metal like key ring and the chips mrs potts and bell bracelet so these are the first prizes And second prize, you get the mini reusable like plasticky tote bag, you get the Cogsworth purse, you get the Bambi cup, you get a princess pencil case, you get a princess book with a little like necklace, you get the Mrs. Potts and Chip Fluffy key ring, you get the mini purse and you get the aerial sponge. So those are the prizes you can win for first and second and now I will hand back over to the Sarah in the other room. So the competition will run until the 21st, so the 21st of this month, the 21st of August. So it's not going to run for as long because I feel like a month, a long time to wait. So the 21st, that's just about two weeks when this video goes up, the 21st of August you have till six o'clock enter down below follow me on youtube and yeah hopefully those prizes are amazing i think they are so that is it make sure you enter my competition thank you so much for watching this disney haul do not worry there will be one next month or shall i say at the end of this month the august one give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel by the way all the new subscribers that have come through lately hi welcome to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.